a modern take on a pre-Raphaelite painting. But what we're trying to do is basically kind of take inspiration from that and make it feel really modern, but still kind of keep the idea of uh, the reference point, which is that romantic uh, pre-Raphaelite. Really strong centre part, and then blow dry quite smooth. The underneath's gonna sit quite flat, and then we're gonna take a section, and that top section we're gonna crimp, and then the ponytail secured very low at the back. And then basically, once the girls are dressed, I'm gonna break it all down and kind of pull pieces out, because it's backlit um, on the runway, which is really nice, it's really romantic, so the light shines through. The inspiration is taken from the idea of a medieval painting. So it's this very sort of like alabaster skin, very sculpted, but very simple and seamless. A creamy wash on the eye, no mascara. Brows are sort of like pushed back so they're not so prominent. Sort of like a creamy beige lip. It's about this kind of like purity. Like she jumped out of the painting, yeah. I kind of saw Magdawi's work and I really like the way it's so freehand. Calligrams are something quite romantic, you know, they are like love letters, you know, they are poems that kind of formate and they make something beautiful while it's a poem or a meaning. You know, taking it onto the body um, and working closely with an artist allowed me to work on different textures, the embroideries that were done in Switzerland, but also this um, mixture of elements. And then moving around the body in such a free way of like curls and, you know, different elements. He's a really impressive cutter and he's very, very original in his thinking. Um, I love the, the way that, that collection is inspired by sort of medieval portraiture. Um, the lovely split sleeves, um, the new proportions. He's, he's, he's a real talent and um, it's just great to see that generation who came out of St. St. Martin's in about 2006, group was stepping up to such a level of maturity and assurance. It's just it's so inspiring for me. I thought it was really nice to portray it also in a more day wear look. So you have like the really long look together with a very short look and you know vice versa. Great, great show. And it was actually my first Marius Throb I'd ever been to. So that was pretty exciting for me as well. It should be a little bit dramatic, but when you go back in the showroom, you see things that you just want, you covet, you know? I love the shoes. I thought the shoes were great, especially the flats. Those should be good sellers. Also the collaboration with ancient Greek sandals, like this sort of flat sort of sandal that is accompanied with something really, really short. It's a modern sort of like layering look. Cocktail is always, you know, something I love doing. I like the occasion where like where a woman puts, um, you know, an outfit together. And, you know, this in a sense is also something quite romantic and something a bit forgotten, you know, like putting the cape, you know, the off-shoulder look that is almost like a tailored jacket, um, together with the sandals, like kind of made it quite, quite refreshing for a winter collection. It was uh, very much about bringing all these ox bloods and all these rich dark colors, but then lighter blush colors. Um, so it's very much about this contrast, but also about the contrast of proportions. The antique mirrors that kind of appear later on the show are all kind of romantic sort of essences, but you always associate them with a ghostly sort of woman and appearance. And I kind of like this lightness of layering.
his last several collections have been super beautiful and he has this kind of like amazing way of doing evening I think super chic super sort of a little bit of edgy versus proper so um, that's really nice to see here it was very much about the lace that was then encapsulated with metal pieces again with the same texture of the broken mirrors so you have like something quite shiny and changed like lacquered against the metallic sort of color of the of the uh, hardware so you know this element of black on top of pale colors or it was all about these compositions well we have been doing so well with the uh, red carpet and you know it, it was probably one of the most um, successful parts of the business uh, over the last year and you know we wanted to build up more the the, the element of red carpet has developed, I mean, his own thing, and I think what's coming forward in his collection is his, his idea about evening wear. Sheer overlayers and, and a sort of sparkly embroidery underneath, which is based on an idea about Marlene Dietrich's dresses. And it's been a real winner for him, and I think it's given him enormous confidence to move forward um, into those incredibly elegant, modern, young red carpet looks.